Right. So I've got to find this. Breed the ashtray. I need that ashtray for mom's keys only. Is that in there? Where's it then? Wow. Sean Prescott's son Nathan goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Okay then. What an asshole. What's that there? You're in the way. Purse. I've done that. Well, where's this bleeding ashtray? It's not in the kitchen. Is it through here? No ashtray there. There. There it is. Here they are. Take the keys. Okay. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. We'd better get going. All right, let's go find this asshole then. <laughs> I can't even bleed and line up. Go out for here, am I? Not there. God's sake, down here. Where is he then? I know. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even walk straight. Through the door. Oh, that's him there, is it? What a piece of crap. <laughs> the car, too. Alright, go give him the keys then. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Well, I'll kill him now then. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Okay. That true insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Uh, what is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get this socket wrench and get this over with. All right, come on now. Alright, in the carriage. Come on, Chloe, what are you doing? What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Toolbox, I need. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? Is that what I'm looking for? I cannot see. It must be. 50-50 chance of smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Just smash him in the face with it. There you go. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Sir. 
A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. It's a bit of an evil villain, doesn't he? What's the name, David? See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign. Carbon deposits? No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Oh, I see. How you do everything. <laughs> now I need a shower. Not going with David then. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Okay, we'll get in the car with David now. Very exciting. Ready to roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We <laughs> don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of the vacation from having a father figure. So there are some things I want to be real clear about. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up. Get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Let's get going, David. Country music. Just daydreaming. Dad loved this song. Hmm. Daydreaming. I just call and tell you that I miss you. What a beautiful day. Dreaming. Oh. What's it? looking at? Oh, there is. It's cut now. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that trunk off. Right. What would I do with this bloody... I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Jerkwad? I guess mom left her purse back here. I think I'll speak to you then, have I? Dad, turn it up. She's got to be daydreaming then. Mm -hmm. 
Back to school. Not very enthusiastic, is she? She can't be asked that. <laughs> Got no interest in whatsoever. Yes, nice. at the school eh? There she is. Come on, I get some movement. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters. On social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Uh, that's good for that. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. Alright. Yeah, great. See you and Cam. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, sit and read your book. Gotta Go track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Not on there. Huh. Get DVD from staff. I see. That matter female. And that's Samantha. That one her. Does she run? No, she won't even do that. Okay, where are you? What the hell? What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A job so dumb makes jobs look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! 
Let's go in then. The only we... way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Mm -hmm. Back off, as in go away. No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? <laughs> Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Well, thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Too late. Shows that when it's too late. Come on, Chloe. We'll find this tart. Oh. I got two new messages. Got loads of messages. Two new messages I can't read. And at the picnic tables. Steph. Steph's at the picnic tables, okay. Don't have to go in then. Need my DVD from Steph. Yeah, I know. I bet she's nerding Steph. it up with Mikey somewhere. Butting in on people's conversations, you might find her. Oh, where's the bleeding picnic table? I'll say signs out there. Oh, freaking hell. Main building. Can't be that far away. It's got to be over here. Oh. We can't see any picnic tables there is that, is that her what's up no Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard courtyard uh. where is she Over there. Is that her? I'll just walk through the fucking trees. Oh, that's a bloke. Evan. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable.
This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Oh, I Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? I really don't care that much. Doing nothing is just as bad as doing harm. Pretty sure that's not true. Yeah, I gotta go. Can't stop talking to you. Oh, founder. I bet Steph and Mikey are playing games. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloody, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, hey right do you on. know if Rachel is a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Mm. Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. Yeah, you want to be still sad. Maybe check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. That means I gotta go to school now, then. What do you get? Can you walk straight? Hey, look. Flipping hell's bells. This went out last night. Oh, get up there. Alright, I'm just... Oh. Let's go in. Oh, good. You're here. Who said no, sir? I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened... To... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Wow, looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is funny. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is... 
Uh, Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? I think... Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Hey, that's a bit of a Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. So we're all that teacher. Yes, slut. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Go. Uh, yeah, sure. Stop. Okay, get the belt. Don't okay. say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. Should be doable, right? Alright, get the belt. Um, I can't remember where she said it was. In her bag. In her bag on the... <laughs> There's the bag. There's a bag for a bag. Oh! See what's in there. Rachel right. looks so happy here. Terrible picture. Well, she's being nosy. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. I'll go find her now. Oh. Oh. Now where does she say she was? <laughs> where are you? Oh, lovely. Oh, she in there, is she? Is it like a dressing room? Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Come on then. Two. I really like your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Mm -hmm. uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Yeah, I see. That was quick. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Oh, gosh. She ain't a lesbian as well, is she? Maybe it doesn't I have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Oh. Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. 
People won't shut up about it. Are they all lesbians or something? Is this a lesbian film? Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Mm, lovely. Much, Much better. better. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Let's, Let's get, get the hell out of here. I'm going now, folks. Cheerio!